Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and good night, wherever it is, whenever it is you watch this video. Well, on today's video, I just got a package in the mail and I am very excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you. There is definitely more than one video's worth of content in this package, uh, but wanna give a quick shout out to Cheapskate Coins. He does awesome auctions every single Monday night. Things are very reasonably priced. I know I've bought some stuff from him before and shown it off. Uh, so I'm very excited to show you what's in here. I got some great deals, uh, awesome things to add to the collection. So without further ado, let's get into this package. <laughs> All right, so a couple things. One of the things I love about Cheapskate Coins is his auctions are all buy and outs. He sends out the list ahead of time. You can look at it, you can buy the thing, even sight unseen, uh, or you can wait and try to get it at the actual auction. Um, but they're all buy it now, so they're great. He also throws together some foreign boxes and sells them uh, for dirt cheap as well. So we'll save the foreign box for another video. But I want to zip through some of these because I got some goodies in here to be sure. We're going to leave that one to a little bit later. Let's go ahead and start with some of these quarters. So some of you remember... Uh, that uh, I have been collecting Washington quarters, state quarters, America the Beautiful quarters, um, but my helpers have been getting into it as well. Uh, helper number three is collecting state quarters and has been doing it for a while, and helper number two just got started. So I happened to grab some of these again because they were so inexpensive, I wasn't going to let them go. So these are some... America the Beautifuls, but S quarters. Okay, so these are the, this is a Saratoga. Okay, S. Got a Bombay hook, also S. Blue Ridge Parkway out of San Francisco. Homestead, sorry, that one's upside down. Out of San Francisco. All gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quarters. Kasachi S. Fort Moultrie S. All absolutely beautiful, already flipped. Here's the Teddy Roosevelt. Ready to go into books. So we'll have the uh, helpers arm wrestle over this and uh, see them add them to their collections, which is super awesome. So this is 2015, 2016, all of the San Francisco business strikes. So these are not proofs. These are the business strikes that they did. So not intended for circulation necessarily, um, but also not the proofs and there's Shawnee. So awesome. I got 10 S quarters for the collection. Next, let's go into our Lincoln Cents. See what we got here. Dun, 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 dun. There's some not Lincoln Cents in here. Oh yeah, the foreign silver that I got. Picked up some proof Lincoln Cents, 1974S. Very, very nice. 1973S proof. Never understood why people take things out of their proof sets, but hey, to each their own, they can do whatever they want. And then next, he had a lot of wheat cents, so I grabbed those. Another 1909 VDB, nice looking wheat scent. Add that one to the collection for sure. And then just a few more 1909s. Here's another 1909. Another 1909, one more 1909, and another 1909. I like to give those away as gifts uh, or giveaways on the channel. So keeping those 1909s are around. First year wheat scents are always fun to have. So I'll put those over here. And then we'll get into our world coins. I'm actually gonna take this one out of the flip because this one is really cool.
Check this little guy out. Let's see if we can get a focus. There we go. 25 ore out of Denmark. Let's look for the date on it. Got the king on there. Look at that. 1905. Grab this one for the collection, or I might give this one to Helper One because it's got a little dolphin on it. Very cool. And now for an even smaller coin. This one, I don't even know if I can get on here without my microscope. Check this out. So stinking cool. This one is one Kreutzer, 1861, out of the German state of Württemberg. Really, really nice looking little coin. Nice little silver coin to add to the collection. And then this one, we've all seen this one before, but I really like this coin. Here we go. 1963 Canadian silver dollar with the canoe on it. I didn't have one of these in my collection, so I definitely wanted to grab one to put into the collection. So we got a little world silver. We've gone through some cents. We've gone through some quarters. Let's do some nickels next. I got quite a collection. There you go, 1937S. That's a pretty nice looking buffalo nickel. Check this one out here. 1937, you can still see the date on it. Actually, I should flip this one over. So if you aren't aware, know where the mint mark is on that buffalo nickel is underneath the five cents on the reverse. Here's a 36. 36 is a fairly common, common one, but a nice one to have. And then we jump 1917. You can see the date, there it is. And then a 1916, just barely. There we go. Another 1916. These are just kind of a mix that got thrown together. 1917. There's a 1918. And we bumped a 1935. And a 1935 out of San Francisco. So a great pile of Buffalo nickels. Next, we are gonna pop into the first collection of Merc Dimes. As you know, if you follow this channel for any length of time, I'm a big fan of the Mercury Dime. It's even on channel logo right there. 1919 Mercury Dime. 1925 out of Denver. So again, the Mercury Dime, the mint mark is going to be right down here to the left of the torch. Okay. Anytime you can find Mercury Dimes with mint marks on them, definitely worth grabbing. 1935. Here's a 1938 out of Denver. This one's a really nice looking one. Back's a little bit worn down. That's okay. It's a nicer D there. 1944 out of San Francisco. You can see that S down there on the bottom. 1916, first year Merck. Very cool. 1924. 1926. 1937, now this one is toned pretty pretty hard actually. Not a bad looking Mercury Dime, but uh, definitely fill in the books, right? So there's the 37S. And last here in this group, a 1944. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. There's your S mint mark down at the bottom of that torch. So there's a nice little pile of Mercury Dimes. And last little package within here that we're gonna go through today. Has some more Merc Dimes in it, but also has some other goodies in it. 
That's a heavy bag. All right, check it out. 1917 out of Denver. 1925. 1929. 1935. And then a really nice 1941 out of Denver. So that's the Merc Dimes. I don't even know how many I got there. 10, 15 ish. Good Merc Dimes. And then here we go. The big ones. 1979 S Morgan. So I'm going to have some fun with the Morgan collection. Um, maybe in a later video where we will go through and talk about VAMs and see how those work and how you compare VAMs. But there you can see right above the D in dollar is that S, 1979 S Morgan and 1896. Look at this coin. Still has some good shine on it. It doesn't look to be cleaned. It's got some spots up in the top right um, where there's some dirt on it that hasn't been cleaned out. So I don't think this coin's been cleaned, but man, is it nice looking. Wow. And then the least shall be last. A 1971 Silver Ike. Just trying to finish up my Ike collection. And then a 1976 S. These are both the 40% silver Ikes, so add those to the collection as well. So thank you to Cheapskate Coins for hosting amazing auctions with great stuff. World coins, world currency, U.S. coins, U.S. currency, tons of different grades. There's always great deals. Definitely want to go check them out. Also, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate every single one of you that watch and listen and hopefully learn a little bit from what I'm sharing. If you did, drop a comment, hit that like button, tell your friends, and as always, have a great day.